Hello everyone, I am Johnny Pluto and welcome back to Vakona Weekly. Hello, I'm Grandma Ryan. Nice to see you here today. I'd like to remind you that if you have anything you'd like to let us know about, there will be an email, I, I think, on screen. Yes, and I'm Boy Wonder. I'm Bob Gnarly! <laughs> and I'm Phil, here to fill you in on the news. Today we have a few things to cover for you, including Senior Halloween. My schedule tells me that I'll be giving you information about, well, uh, the Empty Bowls charity event. Today I'll bring you an update for O'Connor's Robotics Club. I have some information on the National Honors and National Business Honors Society. And I have a bunch of things in general to talk about. Midway through the week this week, on Wednesday, we got to see the seniors celebrate the Halloween festivities in their own special and unique way. Every October 31st, the seniors are allowed to dress up in costumes and go about their school day in them. Some people assume the role of an entire character, and others just joke around for a bit. We had a healthy helping of outfits this year, ranging from the Mystery Gang from Scooby-Doo to Woody from Toy Story. We've got some footage for you guys to enjoy and a few sporadic interviews. We've got Tyler Olds here as Woody, correct? Correct. Nice. So what's your favorite thing about Senior Halloween? <sighs> Being able to express yourself, you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, I always saw the seniors doing it, and I always, I don't know, kind of wanted to have my own shot at it. Joining on the fun. Exactly. Nice. I had, had this planned out since freshman year, so. <laughs> Anything inspire you particularly to be Woody? <sighs> Toy Story is my favorite movie. All right, sweet. Thank you, Tyler. So we've got some people here. We've got Mr. Anderson as Bob Ross. Hello, Mr. Anderson. We've got Mrs. Grady as Harley Quinn. Mr. Dahari as Oh, <laughs> and Mr. Therian as. Ooh, watch out! Don't get him too angry. Miss McLaughlin, what are you? I am Spider-Man. Nice. What about you, Mrs. Wallen? Looks like you're some sort of Superman. I'm Superwoman. Nice. And what about you, Miss Shannon? A butterfly? Nice. So teachers are enjoying the Halloween spirit very much so, I'd say. Well, that's the excitement we got to see on Wednesday. We certainly enjoyed it and we hope you did as well. Today I'll be giving you an update on the Apollonian players. They've been hard at work at the play Night at the Wax Museum, which will be playing November 9th and 10th at 7 p.m. on both days. They've been working hard on giant set pieces and working on their acting skills. The football team also won against DeConnick in their first playoffs last Friday. Lacona's Robotics Club has been hard at work testing possible designs for the competition this spring. The robot will have to complete a number of various tasks and have a unique design for the competition. So far, they've developed an arm mechanism and are putting together an arena in which to test their designs. Today I will be talking to you about the charity event known as Empty Bowls. Empty Bowls is conducted by the National Honor Society here at Wakona. In order to go, you must first purchase a ticket from the, an NHS member by November 7th. The proceeds from the ticket sales go to local food pantries for those who need food. Upon arrival at the Methodist Church, there will be a potluck dinner for anyone who comes. The first to come will receive a special empty bowl made by local artists that represent those who cannot fill their own bowls. A good amount of juniors and some seniors were inducted this year. Getting into NHS can be rather challenging, as one must meet its four pillars to do so. These pillars are scholarship, leadership, service, and character. You must have a minimum of a 90 GPA, be able to lead those around you, give back to the community, and display good values. It's a tough place to get to, but we are proud of those who got in. As for National Business Honor Society, you have to have been in three business classes, have over an 85 GPA, and present business skills. As we were with NHS, we are proud of those who made it into National Business Honor Society. Well, I guess they're gone. Okay then. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Anthony Coviello. Lucas Walsh. Um, what would have been Zach Rogers and Noah Millis and Myself, Ryan Muller. Thanks for watching.